Just getting started with Android Wear? Well, these three apps are gonna help you get started, probably fall way more in love with your Android Wear device, so let's get started. a ton of fun covering all these different apps for the favorite Android Wear app videos, but now is a time for a little bit of a change, which it's a good change. I'm still going to leave all of those videos inside the YouTube cards as well as inside the description so you don't miss any of those. You can still go back through, but what we're going to start doing is actually dividing them into different categories. So there will still be mentions of new apps as we go along, but again, they'll be in categories, so it'll be much easier to follow along besides just each month, and you never know what's coming. So starting with this video, we're gonna be talking about three different apps for brand new Android Wear users to help them get started and help them understand what all is possible with this amazing device. So even if you're not brand new, who knows? These still might be helpful apps just for you. Let's get started talking about a launcher that I would suggest. Well, why have a launcher? Well, I'm sure you've started to realize that trying to find your favorite apps or even your settings takes a lot of scrolling through a small device. So with a launcher, it's going to make it so much easier to get to those favorite apps as well as your settings. So my favorite launcher is called Wear Mini Launcher. You can customize setting within the app on your phone, but basically with one swipe, you can have all of your favorite or most used apps on the first screen and then you swipe to the second screen and you'll see your phone's and your watch's battery. You can set your phone's notifications, media volume, do not disturb, Wi-Fi, and more. This makes it so much easier to find exactly what you're looking for, usually with one swipe. Next up is messaging. Trying to send and receive text messages on, again, a small device is not always easy, but when you have a favorite app to help you do it, it makes life really simple. So my favorite one is called Coffee SMS. With Coffee SMS, it allows you to send and receive SMS messages right from your watch. So when someone sends you a text message, you can open it up and then you can choose to respond from a list of emoticons, which then opens up a list of predetermined messages, or you could still choose to send your message via the microphone. This is really easy to use and makes communicating with your watch so much easier. Next up is notifications. I'm sure that you've noticed that a ton of notifications are coming through on your watch and number one, it's draining your battery and probably number two, you're getting really annoyed by that. So first of all, go inside your Android Wear app settings and then choose the applications that you want to block from sending notifications right to your watch. Now, for those that you choose notifications for on your watch, well then I'm sure you also notice that so many of them have the exact same no notification vibration pattern. So it makes it really difficult for you to then realize which app is sending you that notification. Well, this is where an amazing app comes in and it's called Feel the Wear. With Feel the Wear, this gives you the ability to set custom notifications like one or two taps or even a custom vibration pattern. And then once your notifications come through, well now you know exactly what pattern that is for what you've set already in the app, so you know exactly what it is without having to look down at your watch. Magic. <laughs> So that wraps up three easy apps for you to get started with your Android Wear device. Hopefully this will save you some time with a launcher, the SMS messenger, as well as custom notifications. So if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Also subscribe. I would love to have you as a subscriber so you can come back each week with a brand new video. So if there's anything that you would like to see, maybe a topic, a question about Android Wear, maybe an app to be covered, please leave me a note inside the comments. I absolutely love to hear from everybody. You can also connect with me on Twitter at Stephanie Lee Carls as well as Snapchat at Stephanie Carls. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.